What's up guys, Justin here. Are there any practical, useful knots that have always stuck with you over the years? Well, today I wanted to cover four useful knots that are so simple that it is nearly impossible to forget them. And the best part is you have a very high likelihood of using these knots at some point in your life. Said another way, you don't need to be a rock climber or own a boat to use these. If you end up liking the video, love tap that like button for me and consider subscribing. It helps the infamous YouTube algorithm get the video out there and it helps the channel. Let's dive in. Number one, we have the square knot or the reef knot. This knot goes back at least 4,000 years, so it's been around the block once or twice. The knot is great for securing two lines of similar size around an object, making it a binding knot. Some uses for this knot are tying a makeshift bandage around a body part or securing one or more objects together. The most important thing to remember about this knot is not to use it to support any kind of a critical load, being a person or very heavy objects. The knot is known to come undone or bind, and the risk is just too great to trust your life on it. Number two is a knot that I guarantee you've already used, probably not for the purpose I'm about to mention though. Now I have personally used this knot for many uses not mentioned here, but the simple overhand knot is one of the most basic stopper knots out there. If you have two objects close together that you can fit a line through, you can tie a stopper knot to secure the line by preventing it from slipping through a hole or something like a carabiner for rock climbing uses. Number three, one of my personal favorites and so easy to remember is the clove hitch. This knot gets a lot of heat because it's known to bind and slip under tension if the object is smooth or significantly larger than the rope itself. I have personally witnessed slipping myself, but I tend to use this around objects with rougher surfaces like a tree, making this less of a problem for me. These happen to work great when using with carabiners as well. I'm going to cover the simplest way to tie the clove hitch, which can be used to slip the knot over an object. You can also tie this knot by threading the line around an object where slipping the knot over the object is not possible, or using half hitches, which will be covered in a moment. Number four, one of the simplest ways to tie a line around an object is the half hitch. Once you understand the basic half hitch, it is unlikely you'll ever forget it. The best part here is using multiple half hitches, which will better secure the rope against the object you are tying it to. I'll cover in a moment an even more secure way to do this. Now let's say the basic half hitch is not enough for your use case and you want to level it up. If you want to have a better bite around the object you're tying, use a round turn and two half hitches. The round turn you're about to see will allow for more of the rope to grab the object while the two half hitches will provide the security you need to apply load. Now what are some of your favorite knots that have just seemed to stick with you over the years? I hope you found this video useful, folks. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Myself or other viewers will be able to chime in and try to help out. Until next time, stay practical.